Hey guys, Ashley here and today I wanted to bring you my June favorites. I promised you guys that I would get back into the swing of my favorites videos after I had missed my May favorites. But here I am and I'm gonna make sure that I get my favorites videos done each month. Um, so that being said, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So I basically am just absolutely loving this Fix Plus spray. I was so faithful to my Urban Decay all-nighter for the longest time, but as I've said in a couple of videos recently that I have just been very into the dewy look right now. I'm on board with it as opposed to looking matte, and I find that this takes care of keeping that dewy look for me so much more as opposed to like completely mattifying my face. So I'm definitely preferring my MAC Fix Plus now over that. So I'm loving this product. I will definitely be repurchasing it. Next, just keeping on board with MAC, I just want to mention really quickly my Pro Longwear Paint Pot that I picked up in Soft Ochre. Again, I know that everybody has been using this and I'm late to the game, but I have been loving this since I finally picked it up. I love the way that it primes my eyes. I love the fact that it has the yellow tone to it that cancels out any discoloration and then it's a beautiful base for my eyeshadows. I'm just definitely obsessed with this product at this point. I have not reached for any of my other eye primers since I picked this up. Next I wanted to talk about my Anastasia Glow Kit. You guys already know that I had the other two. I have Gleam and That Glow. I think it's called. And this is the third one that she came out with, which is the sun dipped one. And lately this has been the one that I'm reaching for. I know it seems strange because I feel like they are kind of darker colors. Uh, but these two I've been mixing together. That has been my favorite highlight right now. Shades Summer and Moonstone. I haven't really had a purpose for Tourmaline. Tourmaline? Term Tourmaline? I'm probably butchering that. I haven't really had a purpose for this one yet because it does kind of have a little bit of um like a mauvey rosiness shade to it. I could see that maybe being nice for me for like a blush topper. Um, and then bronzed is nice if you just want to like dust around the perimeter when you are doing like a glowy bronzy face. But this has definitely been my go-to highlighting palette right now for this month. On the topic of highlighting, this is a newer product for me. I definitely did not have this through the whole month, but I'm already obsessed with it for the short amount of time that I did have it through the month. But the Cover FX Enhancing Drops, I have this in shade Moonlight. I already want the rest of the drops. I know that this is pricey. I think this retails for like $42 or $44, something like that. Um, but it comes with this dropper. And when I tell you a little bit, it goes a long way. Like, you need the tiniest bit of this. I can't even imagine getting through a whole bottle of this in, like, a year. Like, I don't even think that that would be doable. But this is so metallic. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on the back of my hand. I am actually wearing it today, but I do have the Moonstone um, and Summer mixture topped on top of that. But the tiniest little drop, right? Let me show you what this does. The tiniest little drop. So you see there I have that itty bitty little drop. And then... I don't know if you can... Okay, yeah, definitely it's picking up. So you move it out. Look how opaque and intense that is. It's just crazy. I'm so obsessed with this product right now. And then when you blend it out... It's so beautiful. You can see how reflective that is. It's just my favorite product right now. Um, I feel like I could see myself using this, especially in summertime too, when I go. I've been using this on my cheekbones. I could see this being great in the summertime, even to glow like your collarbones and your shoulder. If you just want to put a little bit of shimmer anywhere on your body, maybe even your legs. You could use this for so many different things, which I feel like warrants the price being okay because it's going to last forever and you can use it for so many different things. I've even seen people putting it on their eyes as um, a shimmering eyeshadow, but I have so far been using it on my face and I'm loving it. Next, another product that I probably got halfway through the month, which is a hot topic right now. I have been loving the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundations. I have them in shade 203 Nude Beige and 205 Natural Beige. 
and this is for my more tanned when I'm self tanned this is for when I'm not self tanned and when I am obviously fading and not as dark I have been mixing the two of these together to get my customized shade and I'm loving this product so far it is so lightweight like I personally feel like I can't even feel it on my skin it's definitely not full coverage it's more medium coverage it's like buildable light to medium it says that it's an up to 24 hour wear I can't vouch for that because I have not worn it for 24 hours but it claims to be radiant wear up to 24 hours have medium coverage which it does and an air light texture which again it does so so far I can say that three out of four of these claims on the back I have tested and I'm loving this product so far. It is such a good foundation. It has been hard to find lately because it's so popular. Everybody's buying it. I found mine at Walmart. Uh, if you're looking for it, maybe check your local Walmart and you might have better luck that way. But again, loving this product. If you do have oily skin, this might not be for you. I just wanted to throw that in there. Lastly, I just wanted to mention as a whole, I'm obsessed with these Milani liquid lip sticks right now. I'm obsessed with them as a whole. I have multiple shades right now, but specifically I have been wearing, this is shade 10, Adorable. I've specifically been wearing this shade a lot since I picked these up and I'm so in love with these liquid lip colors and the formula. They come with the doe foot applicator and it's actually, to me, this is like the nicer one. It has a little bit of a different shape to it and this is just like a perfect um, nudie, kind of like the Kylie lip color that they have going on. But I love the wear of these. They're so much more comfortable than my ColourPop liquid lipsticks. And they dry down matte. They're beautiful. And probably my favorite thing about them is that they smell like cake batter. Like I just want to eat cake batter when I smell these. They smell so good. I don't know if it's vanilla or cake batter, but to me it's kind of like both. Or maybe it's vanilla cake batter <laughs> but they smell so good let me just show you guys a swatch of this shade particularly because this has been the one that I am obsessed with so you can see right there I'm just obsessed with it it's so good I've been wearing this practically daily anytime I put my makeup on with the exception of today that I just popped the lipstick on this has been the one that has been going on my lips I'm obsessed with it it's definitely my favorite color out of all of them as well those are the products that were standing out to me this month and I wanted to talk about them to you guys so I hope that this was helpful uh, to get to see the products that have been my favorites and let me know if you end up trying some of these out or if you have tried these out and how they worked out for you because I would love to know. If you are new, my name is Ashley. Welcome. Please subscribe. I hope that you'll stick around for future videos and guys, if you liked this one, please thumbs it up because that really helps me out and that's all I have to say for today so I'll see you in my next video. Bye.